Sandra Scott. I'm married, I've got three children, two lovely grandchildren. Well, the thing I'd really like to achieve this year is the Just Neighbour Challenge. That's my biggie. That's what I've been working on for quite a few months. Um, it's going to be difficult. I don't know whether it's achievable, to be honest, but I'm really going to have a go doing it. So, uh, tell us about the, the challenge that uh, Sandra's got today. Well, it's one of the most beautiful challenges she'll ever do in her life. And, uh, She'd be very relieved when she sees this little bridge here at the end. I, I think since being retired, one of the things is that you do actually, for a, for a short time anyway, feel isolated because you haven't got your occupation to hang your coat on. So you think, who am, who am I? Who, who is Sandra? And to a certain extent, that's how society does treat you. It really becomes a challenge when you start going up on the boat farm. You get onto rough ground then, and you've got quite a lot of miles in your legs then. Yes, but uh, uh, since retiring, obviously, I've developed this love of running. I want to do something special. I want to do something it's a challenge, a real challenge, and I have challenged myself quite a lot over the last couple of years, but I've never really challenged myself really physically, something really that's out there, but not for an ordinary person. When you get down the stretcher box and you look up at Gable and think, oh, i got to go up there. But once you get Gable it's the last big long climb, we know all going up the Kirtel and up on the pillars along drag the pillar. I think it's important that you pull yourself back into the world and say, hey, I'm here. And, and, and I think I do that. And I make a point of saying, look, and I might be, you know, an old lady as such, but inside I, I, I still feel as though I'm 30 and I have something to offer. So, you know, don't dismiss me. You get pillar in and then it's all nice green ground all. They've come to save talent, which is another thing on its own. Which is where it makes you dig for a little last bit of energy you've got. Go, Sandra! Come on, Sandra! Come on, he's got you on camera! Come on! When I look back to when I started, which really, if I'm honest, it's been over the last 12 months um, when I sort of the first thought of, I'd like to do the Joss Nail. And when I first thought about it, I thought, you know, it's probably, probably something I can't do, really. It's just a dream. But I thought, once I made up my mind I was going to do it, that was it. And um, my preparation, Sandra. I feel as though I've been at it. It's taken You've over done my it. life. Come on. Come on, and I've been at it for so long. Um, getting ready physically. It seems such a long journey. But it's been a hard journey. <laughs> Come on. Oh, well, Sandra. Well, that's the most difficult thing I've ever done. You've got it yourself. Well, they're going to call me anyway, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> you haven't wasted anything. <laughs> <laughs> One little bit. <laughs> well,